all natural, really clear caps, really proven ingredients, all safe. Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. Today I wanna to do a little review on this Prime Male Tea Booster. I actually just did a review on a supplement called Testo Fuel, and it's actually pretty similar to this, but also this one actually has a little bit of a differences here. They kind of are very similar. Like if you really like this, you'll probably like Testo Fuel. If you don't like Testo Fuel, you'll probably not like this, but I consider there to be kind of like three levels of testosterone boosting type ingredients. First one is actually full on steroids, which is actually just synthetic testosterone. It doesn't actually boost your normal testosterone, but you end up with crazy levels of testosterone in your system either way. And then you kind of have the second level where it's not a steroid, but it is kind of like a drug. It's, uh, I would say it's kind of like SARMs or kind of like these chemical anti-estrogens to where it's gonna give you a very chemically boost, but it's not gonna be 100% steroids. And this is something that probably the third category that's 100% all natural ingredients that have been proven to boost your testosterone, but it's all natural. It's pretty much things that you could find in food. They're probably not gonna be as extreme as those other ones, but you know that the safety is there and pretty much anybody could take this at any time because it is natural, it's safe. It's essentially like foods that are gonna naturally boost your testosterone. This one is actually uh, sponsored by Dolph Lundgren. I think he was like the bad guy in one of the Rocky movies, like the evil Russian guy, I'm not too sure. So it is sponsored by somebody um, pretty famous at one point in time. I think he did like the Expendables too. So real quick, here's the ingredients. I'll probably put the ingredients on screen. I'm gonna try to run through them very, very quick. Vitamin D3 is really good. People actually say that vitamin D3 is technically almost like a steroid because it is so, so effective. Uh, we get it from the sun. So maybe if you're not in the sun, you're not going to be getting it as much. So it's going to definitely help a lot of things in your life. But um, vitamin D3 has also been proven to increase testosterone. Vitamin K2. Now this was in testo fuel as well. And I have not done enough research on K2. Vitamin B6. Usually uh, all B vitamins are just good for energy and they also help absorb other ingredients so by putting a little bit of B vitamins it's going to help absorb the other ingredients in here which makes sense magnesium now magnesium is a fantastic supplement I think almost more more people should be taking it like you could almost stop this video right now and go buy yourself some magnesium uh, magnesium is great for anybody with slow digestion and it is good for relaxing you but on top of that it has been shown to to help boost testosterone and it also is used here with zinc and zinc's also supposed to boost testosterone, but magnesium and zinc also work hand in hand to boost each other's effects. So that kind of sounds good. You could almost use those all the time, whether you want a tea boosting or not, but they just happen to boost tea as well. So deaspartic acid, now it's weird because the other supplement I reviewed, Testofuel had normal deaspartic acid, and this has deaspartic acid calcium chelate. And I have done a little bit of research on, on like chelated minerals. I forget what it is. Uh, I'll, maybe I'll put it up on screen, but it's, I think it increases absorption or like it's powdered or something. It doesn't have as much deaspartic acid as something like testo fuel, but it still has 1.6 grams, which is a high amount. And deaspartic acid is probably one of the most studied natural testosterone boosters out there. I think it is acid from asparagus and it does a lot of other health benefits, but it also boosts testosterone. So that's probably one of the biggest tea boost ingredients in here, although we got a few other ones. Korean ginseng extract. Now I've had ginseng quite a bit. Usually ginseng is, is kind of like similar to caffeine. Um, it gives you a little bit of energy. It gives you a little bit of libido boost, um, just an overall energizing, good feeling. I have not researched if it helps testosterone, but I have taken it before and I do enjoy it. Luteolin and nettle root, I'm gonna be honest with you, are the other two that I have not done research on. So I will put information on the luteolin and the nettle root as well. I have not done enough research on it, but I assume that there's gonna be a really noticeable benefit because every other ingredient in here, I have known for a long time and it is known for boosting testosterone. So I'll put um, luteolin and nettle root extract benefits on screen. 
Another big bad boy here is the ashwagandha extract, the KSM 44. Now, I have uh, always really liked ashwagandha extract. Well, ashwagandha and ashwagandha extract. I like both of them. I don't think I've done a review on ashwagandha on this channel. Maybe I have, but ashwagandha is an amazing overall herb. It's one of those herbs that just has like a multitude of health benefits. It's supposed to heal your adrenal glands. It's supposed to boost testosterone, increase fertility. I mean, just go ahead and Google search the benefits of ashwagandha. It is fantastic. I take it all the time. One of the only things you're not supposed to do with ashwagandha is take it on an empty stomach but i think that's more with a high dose but this one uses the extract which is much more potent and from my understanding that's a pretty big amount at 300 milligrams go ahead and google ashwagandha extract fantastic fantastic stuff and when i was looking and i saw that i liked the deaspartic acid because i knew that that was a testosterone booster but as soon as i saw the ashwagandha extract i like i was way more interested in this supplement at least for me personally and then the last two things we got here are black pepper extract which usually again helps with absorption same as the b vitamins and then boron and now boron you can see they only use it in like five milligrams here i don't know why they didn't put boron in the testo fuel as well well, because like I said, you only need five milligrams of it. I mean, you could put that in almost anything. You know what I mean? Like look how much deaspartic acid is in there, like 1600 milligrams, but you only need five milligrams to put the boron in there. So I feel like they should have put boron in the other one. But again, this and testo fuel, they both are very similar. They both have the same like D3, K2, B6, magnesium, zinc, and they both have deaspartic acid and ginseng but they have a few other things in there. And to me, I would probably edge this one over Testo Fuel just because I like ashwagandha. Ashwagandha, just, that's just like, ashwagandha is just a supplement that I really like. I would probably edge Prime Melt over Testo Fuel just because of that KSM 66, that ashwagandha extract. But anyways, guys, let's jump into the pros and cons of this supplement. Almost all the ingredients in here are all natural. They're all safe and they all are proven to be effective and pretty much anybody could take them. I wouldn't expect anybody at any time to be safe on any dose, but for the most part, this is essentially like food. Anybody could take this and get a boost. I just think that most anybody would just be fine if they had this, you know, at any range, which it's kind of nice. It's, you don't really want a supplement that could hurt some people. And then this also has the clear caps, which I really, really, really like. Um, a lot of testosterone boosters, they want to have like blue, red, yellow, freaky color, like experimental caps and I'm actually really sensitive to artificial colors. It does look a little bit better with those colors, but if you're gonna have any sort of like negative side effects, like wow, like get that crap out of there, at least for me. All natural, really clear caps, really proven ingredients, all safe. Um, to be honest, guys, I really don't have very many cons at all with this supplement. The only con I could think of is that it is a little bit pricey, but at the same time, it doesn't really have any flaws. Like it's properly dosed. Uh, the capsules are clear. Uh, it's got a multitude of ingredients. Like it's not just like one, two, three, four, five. It's like, it's got a lot of proven ingredients in here. I've been really, really enjoying it. Again, what really sold me was the ashwagandha extract. I absolutely love that high dose of that KSM 66. So if you're looking for a testosterone booster, or you know anybody who wants a little bit of natural testosterone boost, you could definitely get this for them. It's going to be really safe. I know some of these like chemical testosterone boosters, once you get to the stronger ones, they can have all sorts of side effects, although they work. So so if you want to just give an overall supplement to the male in your life to give them a little bit of a testosterone boost with pretty much no negative side effects, definitely check out Prime Male. So anyways, guys, we're on the road at 50,000 subscribers and I couldn't do it without any of you guys' help. You guys are the best. I'm having a great day out here. Hopefully having a great day at home. See you all in the next video. Peace.